Hello, hello everybody, Felicia here, and I am back with a process visit video, <laughs> sorry about that, using the Allie Edwards Story Kit Glow. Um, man, I am so glad I put these together ahead of time because it really does save me a lot of time with coming up with ideas of trying to scrapbook certain pages um, um, when I'm doing my process videos. So today I'm going to be creating a stamped background here for one of my layouts here, or one of my stories here that I'm going to be putting into my binder. And I'm using the stamp set that is that coincides with the kit. Now they are sold separately, they don't come together. So um, I get the kit and I also get the stamp set. So what you see me here doing is I am preparing the stamp because the stamp comes with a little tiny bit of a film in order for you to have the perfect stamp you got to kind of take it and gently rub the, uh, I use my adhesive remover and I gently rub it across and then I wipe it off with a baby wipe and I have my test paper over to the side of me so that I can test it once I do the first stamping process. So you want to do a couple stamps first after you've done that just to make sure that it's going to stamp pretty clean for you there. So there you have it there. So I did it a couple times there. Now I'm going to create my stamp background and I love doing this. I've done this so many times and I'm doing mine on a diagonal. So I start with it, um, with that area there. And it really doesn't matter where you start. And that's just where I chose to start. So I'm starting with it here and I'm going to pretty much repeat this stamp set. I'm sorry, this stamp all over this card and you're going to see how I do it and you want to make sure you have a piece of paper you know like I have underneath it to catch the excess because you're going to stamp all the way until you know you get to the end of the so you have no more space and I kind of keep them evenly spaced out there as you can see as much as possible it doesn't have to be perfect but that's exactly what I'm doing here as you can see I am basically just kind of keeping them at a um, semi even spacing there and making it look like it came like that which I love doing I've done this many many times before sometimes I've done them in the videos and sometimes I've just done them off camera because you know I like to play around with a lot of my stuff here and there's an experiment here so that's what I'm doing with this stamp Upset. I am creating this makeshift background here um, with my own with the stamp set now you could do this with any of the stamps that are in the set I just pretty much chose this one to do it with and I don't even I don't think I can see that because I don't have the layout in front of me but um, it's just a repeated background uh, and I and I make sure it's all covered as you can see there I'm making sure it's covered for the most part getting those little edges you know making it and it's so cool. It is so cool when this is when it's when you're done with this and how it comes out. I really enjoy doing this. Um, I should do this more often, uh, but for some reason I just don't do it as often <laughs> as I should. <laughs> so I'm filling in the gaps there, as you can see, and that's why I start in the middle because you want to go. You can fill in the gaps later on around the edges of the card. So there you have the stamp background and that is on a regular plain piece of cardstock. And I'm going to put this uh, element here that you see that came in the kit. It's a rainbow like half circle and I'm going to put it right there and over that so you can see some of the background there. And I was going to cut that down some but I changed my mind and so I, that's why you don't, um, uh, this is this the, this, in other words, I'm keeping it the same. Sorry, I <laughs> almost couldn't find my words there because I, I got this uh, distracted there. <laughs> I'm sitting by the window when I'm doing this so I can see everything outside. I can see my neighbors. I can see everything. So I know I shouldn't be looking and being nosy, but that's what I'm doing right now too, trying to do a voiceover at the same time. So anyway, now I'm going to take these photos and these are just regular school photos and I always get the small ones because I like to scrap them or I always get the medium ones because I like to scrap them. The big ones that I get from their mom, I just keep those in. Those will go into frames and things like that. But I love to scrap. I like to get like two different sizes of the, um, the uh, school photos and things like that. So, and this is telling just a little bit of a story on how these guys did in 2021 and 2022, part of 2022. So pretty much almost for a year, they were at home, you know, being school because everything had gotten shut down, including all the schools. And regardless, these two did pretty well. 
I mean, to be honest with you, they did really well. Um, there was a little bumps, you know, just like with anything else in the road. But for the most part, they did excellent with being at home and being schooled through Zoom and things. And of course you do, there is a such thing as Zoom burnout. And I think by mid 2020, that was what I was experiencing. I mean, 2021, that's what I was experiencing and I was a student. So these guys experienced it a little bit earlier than I did. And I was like, oh, what do you mean Zoom burnout? <laughs> Until I got it myself. So um, yeah. Anyway, these two are hilariously funny. They are the best little people ever that I know that I love very, very much. And I really love and enjoy being around them too because they are special um, to me. And I guess every Nana or Grandma or whatever, Auntie or Uncle says that. But these two are for me. They are to me. They're my only two um, grandchildren that I do have. But at, for the most part, I just love, love, love hanging around them, and I love scrapping about them and telling the stories about them. So it was a pretty simple layout, as you can see there. It's pretty much done. Um, that's one of the good things I like about her story kits because, like I said, in the, uh, when I came back here to scrapbooking, I had to reflect and remember why I started scrapbooking in the first place, and that was just to tell stories. Yes, you know, putting all the elements on the page and gluing things down, sticking things down, all kinds of directions and ways is the fun part of it all, but I have to keep remembering why I'm actually doing this. And that is to tell the story of my family and myself, of course, but yeah. So I'm flipping through here to get extra page protectors because um, this is where I store all my page protectors and trust me, that binder is full. <laughs> it is full of page protectors, six by eight page protectors. So. Um, and they're all just, I don't know, they just, and they're all the same size too. I mean, not the same size, but they got the same holes on each end. So I'm done with this and I'm putting it in my binder, as you can see. And that is my layout for that particular one. And now that that's done, I am going to switch over to my next um, story. And that's why I'm combining these so you guys can get a chance to see these. So my next story using the glow story, um, uh, Allie Edwards story kit is going to be in an eight and a half by 11 size. And this is what I have down here. As you can see the drawing there, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm pointing to the one at the bottom, cause I'm going to do that one at the bottom. And, um, it's just a random, random story. Now the rest of the elements that I was going to do at the top, I'm just putting them back into the envelope and I'm going to do that at another time. But here I got all the elements together that are going to go on this sketch that I did. Now these sketches did not come. I did these sketches myself. So, and like I said, I have, oh my gosh, so many sketches. I have to figure out what I'm going to do with these sketches. So, um, and I did not exactly stick to the sketch. You can see this here, cause this is a mistake right here, but I kept the card anyway, because I decided that you know what, I can use the other side or I can use the bottom half of that card and cover up the writing that I did. Cause I, I never really um, throw anything out. I just kind of like, you know, either repurpose it or, or correct it with something else. So I'm gonna keep that card. My writing was supposed to go on this half circle here. And that's exactly what I did. I, I drew the lines and then I'm writing the story on it first because I know what I wanna talk about as far as I'm concerned. So I did the story first, the writing first. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the layout together. Now <laughs> you're probably wondering why is she scrapping? What is that photo of? Well, <laughs> I'm laughing right now because it's hilariously funny to me. I went out and I wanted so bad to get a little burlap slash basket for my kitchen. And, um, I found this one that said general store and it is the cutest little basket. And I loved it from the start. Now, I just so happened to take a, I was just fooling around with my phone once again. And I just took that picture. Now that cup that's in front of it is my coffee. It just happened to be sitting there. And I said, oh, this will make a nice picture with that little piece of paper. Now that piece of, <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's because that paper <laughs> was not supposed to be in the photo. And the funny thing about it is I didn't even recognize that I had that paper in the photo. So I don't know what's going on either. Is the eyesight or the mind? Who knows? <laughs> oh 
my goodness, I'm laughing. I'm tearing up right now because <laughs> that paper is um, my renewal for my passport. <laughs> It's blank and everything, but I'm like, why in the world was that thing sitting there? And why am I just now noticing that, you know, when I get this photo printed out and everything, I was like, what is wrong with me? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, enough with that. That was funny. You know, I thought it was hilarious. So, and I know you're probably going, why is she laughing? Because that was one of those <laughs> accident photos. And I just said, I'll skip it. I'm just going to go with it because I really like the fact that I took a picture of that burlap basket and it's about, oh, about six inches long. No, about eight inches long. And it's really about three inches and it's a really cute little basket. And I, I really enjoy having that in the kitchen. Um, it just sits there. And what's in that basket is just a bunch of my story kit prompt cards um, I just stuck them all in there and, you know, I flip through them every now and then I go, oh, you know what? Maybe I should tell a story about this or maybe I should tell a story about that. So some of them have writing on it and I did not know that I was doing that when I was first, when I first started getting her kits, I would always write something on the back because it's got a little story prompt card with lines in the back and then you could, you know, that kind of jumpstart your story. Well, I did not know I did that and so... I just put them all in that little basket there and um, I said, wow, this would be a good place for these. And so that's where they sit at. And every now and then I go through those things and then I'm like, you know what? I should document this or I should talk about this because I do have that. I have a photo for pretty much, oh my gosh, for a lot of the story cards that I wrote on in there. So that little thing, it serves its purpose for me right now. And I did make a mistake on the size. So it's about six inches. And I stick the cards right in there and, you know, there's a pen in there and there's a little bit of a post-it in there. And so if I want to recommend, you know, rec remember something, I just write it on there. But that paper in the front is like, and I'm looking at that paper, it was so funny because I'm like, what is this paper? <laughs> Anyway, so let me get back to the layout. I'll tell you, boy, I don't know what goes first when you get a little older, your mind or your eyesight, <laughs> or maybe it's just both. <laughs> I'm still laughing. I'm so sorry. Anyway, guys, so back to the layout. <laughs> I am gluing down these little felt pieces. They also came in the story kit itself. And they're all different sizes and who knows, you know, they don't fit together or anything like that, but they're just pieces and they're, and it's the caption is supposed to be pieces of a whole. And so by me, um, taking all these little pieces and putting them here on the layout, it just reminds me of that, you know, um, the kitchen, the kitchen area, which is where I spend, you know, a lot of time in cooking meals and things like that. And um, although it's only the two of us at home right now, so I still do cook, but I don't cook as much as I used to because I used to have to cook for six people. Now it's down to two. So um, I um, it, part of the kitchen, the kitchen is part of a whole. It's a piece, small piece of time that I spend in the kitchen nowadays compared to what I used to. And that's what the story on the side is about. I used to spend lots and lots of time in the kitchen. Even after I came home from work, it would be like, okay, it's dinner time, you know, start cooking. I'd always have to plan what we were going to have the night before. Um, and that way I could defrost something in the refrigerator. And by the time I got back or if something that needed to be defrosted for a couple of days, I, you know, I was really, really organized with that. And, and now that I'm older and it's just the two of us, <laughs> it doesn't happen like that anymore. It's, whoa, okay, what we got in here that's left over? Oh, what do you feel like? I don't know. What do you feel like? Oh, let's DoorDash or uh, let's go out to eat. You know, there's no kids here. There's just us. So, um, and that is the beautiful beauty of having an empty nest right there. Cause you can eat whatever you want when you want and get it from wherever you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So that is what this layout is about. It's just about me and having the kitchen be pieces of a whole and how I used to, you know, have a lot of, spend a lot of time there. And, um, now I don't anymore. Not as much. Um, I make a lot of coffee in there nowadays. Back in the, t in the day when my kids were little and young, I didn't drink a lot of coffee. I drank a lot of tea. Uh, I don't know. I guess it's switched now. So Anyway, so what I'm doing right now, just to give it some finishing touches, and I'm just creating a like little dash dash 
outline, long line, and um, just to pretty much outline the whole and layout and to bring it together. So it it looks pretty cool. So you'll get a close up look at that at the end here once I'm finished uh, doing these lines around here. Um, so anyway, so that's it, you guys. Um, I am pretty much done with this layout. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I am going to be showing you what I do with this layout because I have an eight and a half by 11 binder that I started when I first started doing these story kits with Ali Edwards back in 2014. And I stick them in an eight and a half by 11 binder. I've been doing that for so long. Oh my gosh. I even have some of the very, very first layouts I've done in there with the story kits are still in this binder. This binder is getting awfully full, so it'll be time for me to get another one. And then here uh, in the little story kit binder, this is where I put the finishing, um, when I'm finished with the sketch in the little story uh, paper there that you see that I'd put the sketch and the story and the designs on, I put it in the binder here and it usually goes towards the back. So that's when I'm done with it. And that's where I stick them and they live there for a little while just in case I wanna look at them again. And that is it, you guys. So I don't know exactly where I went. But anyway, I want to thank you so much for sticking around. And you guys have a great and wonderful, wonderful rest of your week. Bye.